How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about an example of discontinuity for a piecewise function. Okay, so in this example I have g of x, right, as the piecewise function and it's separated by intervals, okay? So whenever you have a piecewise function and you want to determine it's discontinuous or not, you want to be specific on the points of separation between each function okay so when i'm talking about that i'm talking about these intervals here okay so you want to know if those points are continuous or not so let's start from top to bottom at negative three so the limit um approaches x from of negative three from the left of g of x equals what well, if I'm approaching negative three from the left, x has to be less than negative three, right? So we're gonna choose x plus seven, which is x minus x less than three. So limit when x approaches negative three from the left of x plus seven. When we do that, we have negative three plus seven, which is equal to four. Now we have to do the same thing from the right of negative three. So when x approaches negative 3 from the right of g of x, this is the limit when x approaches negative 3 from the right of y. If x is greater than negative 3, then we're going to choose absolute value of x minus 2, which is going to be absolute value of negative 3 minus 2, which is the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. So notice that from the start, from the very beginning, sorry. We know that it's discontinuous at negative three because it's not even defined at negative three, at the point negative three. There's no equality sign, right? So the function is not continuous at negative three. But what type of discontinuity is this? If from the left is four and from the right is five, that means there's a jump, right, from the functions. So four and five, there's a space in between Therefore, this is a essential discontinuity, jump discontinuity, okay? So under the essential group, this one is a jump discontinuity, okay? Because the limits are different, okay? That's what it means to be this uh, jump discontinuity. Now, let's check our next point. So I'm going to change my color. Our next point has to be negative 1. And similar to negative three, negative one is not defined also. So we know for a fact that it's discontinuous at negative one, but we wanna know what type of discontinuity. So we do the same thing, the limit, when x approaches negative one from the left of g of x. If we are approaching from negative one from the left of g of x, we're talking about values that are less than negative one. So we use absolute value of x minus two. If we substitute negative 1, we have negative 1 minus 2, which is absolute value of negative 3, which is equal to 3. Now let's do that same thing when x approaches negative 1 from the right of g of x. So if we're approaching from the right of negative 1, we are approaching when x is greater than negative 1, which is x squared minus 2x. So the limit when x approaches negative 1 from the right of x squared minus 2x. We substitute that, we have negative one squared minus two negative one. You have one negative times negative is positive, so plus two, which is equal to three. So what type of discontinuity this one is? Because we know it's discontinuous, but what kind? Well, because the limits are the same, and it's not defined at the point three, we have a removable discontinuity, okay? How do we know this? If you, have, if you haven't, uh, I've seen the previous videos about essential and removable discontinuities. I suggest you do that before jumping into this example. It will make it more clear into what I'm, I, am I talking about. So now let's do our last point, which is at three. So I'm going to change my color again. We're looking for, let me do it to the right here so we have a visual of, the, of G of X. 
The limit when x approaches 3 from the left of g of x. Notice that from the left of 3 is still x less than 3. So x squared minus 2x. So x squared minus 2x. This is equal to, we substitute 3, we got 3 squared minus 2 times 3 equals 9 minus 6, which is equal to 3. Okay? So the limit from the left of 3 is equal to 3. Okay? Now let's do the limit from the right of 3. So if we choose from the right of 3, of g of x, we're choosing x greater or equal than 3 is 2x, 2x minus 3. So 2x minus 3. So if we substitute 3, we get 2 times 3 minus 3, which is 6 minus 3, which is 3. And at 3, so g of 3 is equal to what? Well, the equality says that because x is greater or equal than 3, we have to choose 2x minus 3, which is also 3. Therefore, at 3, the function is continuous. Okay? So we've, we summarized three points, three different discontinuities and continuous. At negative 3, is a jump discontinuity. It's essential. At negative 1, is removable discontinuity. And at 3, it is continuous. So this is how you find this type of discontinuity or continuity in a piecewise function. So I hope you enjoyed the, the video. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe to Motivao, share it with your friends, families, everybody. Okay? Have a great day.